Hi everyone. Uh, thank you for your support with the Soulmate readings. Um, here's a small clip for you guys to enjoy. And if you'd like to purchase the entire video, uh, go to my website, fearlessintuition.net. Bye. Hi Virgo. So let's see what your soulmate is up to for August. Let's see what Virgo soulmate. So we're going to do headspace, heart space, environment, and the energy between the two of you. Okay. I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for being here. So appreciate the support. So headspace, that one flew out. Healing begins. This is the six of swords. <clears throat> In the traditional tarot so they're really I feel like they're coming through pretty tough times this is you know a lot of times this is like needing to have like some mental clarity kind of clear out the space in your mind and I do feel like there's a lot of healing that's happening um, Opening themselves up to more possibilities. Things don't have to be so rough. I like that. Let's see. Virgos. They have a decision to make because they want more out of life. We have, so the card that flipped over here, two of pentacles and the page of cups. So they're definitely um, thinking about, I mean, they want more out of life. The Page of Cups is, um, they want to be able to have affection, give affection. Yeah, because things have been really rough. And they know it's the time to do it, right? Five of Wands, the internal conflict of what do I do, what do I do? And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I do feel like they're, um, it's like they're noticing, they're, they're feeling the time shift. They're feeling that movement along. Let's see what the Two of Pentacles is for Virgo soulmates headspace. You know, the Wheel of Fortune, <clears throat> and they could be thinking, you know, it's really time for me to like no longer be sitting where I am anymore. I really need to push through. Two of Pentacles with the Six of Cups. So having to make decisions about the, like from the past, about the past, they could have a family that they need to make decisions for. Um, you know, they, they want this connection so much to work, but there's this conflict within them um, and not even, I feel like they're moving away from the conflict within them. Yeah. The magician, because they're going to make things happen for themselves. Sorry. You can hear the dishwasher going in the background. Sorry about that. I didn't even realize until just now. Um, they're cleaning up their dishes. <laughs> um, they're really like the magician on the page of cups to me is like they're going to find their happiness they're going to find their fulfillment it's like they know that they can't get it from any other place anymore you know that's what this healing begins is you really have to find it within yourself to push forward to move forward um so the five of wands there are a couple that wanted to pop out i don't know what they are because the cards are like that so we'll see if they come out this time. Five of Wands. Um, yeah, they're done. They're really done fighting with themselves. And they're done fighting with probably the people around them, too. With the Ten of Wands. I mean, we jumped from the Five to the Ten. They're done with the conflict. And they want more out of life. And they're recognizing that. And I think, um, you know, the moving away from the past and stepping into the future is really really happening and they're thinking heavily about this wheel of fortune what is this wheel of fortune three of pentacles so they know it's time to start to rebuild 
to start something new, start fresh. And they're feeling that shift to do this. I really like that. I really like that. So, 